true story. One of 48 choir members. From Concordia University at Austin. On a choir tour. The sacrifice of our spring break. <laughs> to see what happened. <laughs> when people stop being polite. <laughs> they start getting real. Concordia University Choir, Southwest Tour, 1997. Hmm. What could this mean? Well, perhaps it's time for the annual choir tour. That's right, this time it's the Southwestern Tool Tour, and we're headed for Colorado. First stop, Dallas, day one. And there's our bus. Wow. Everybody's, step out. Everybody's getting ready. This is gonna be our home for the next 10 days. Pretty exciting, huh? Notice it's clean, it smells good. Wait till you see it tomorrow. Wise words. We are now about to embark on another great choir tour. Another. A few warnings before we begin. First, the first three days may seem... Don't keep making and having love. No. The first few days may seem happy and cheery. But they will be. After the third day, this is my prediction, this is when people start getting on everyone's nerves. People start hating each other. Be kind to your fellow students. Have mercy upon their souls. Don't just strike out in vengeance. And remember to keep your tray tables in their full and locked position. As the trip wears on, and we get to learn a little bit more about each other, I think we'll get to know each other better. Then by the end of the trip, that last day, we'll be all happy because we'll, everybody's leaving. <laughs> we tired each other, but we'll be celebrating. Anyway, hopefully it's a great tour. That's fine. Hey, hmm, okay. It says, now he sends us all out, strong in faith, free of doubt, which is, of course, from Hallelujah, Hello, Tsarona. Now, we don't have to look too far to find where that idea comes from. I'd like to read you a little bit of Matthew 28, starting with verse 19. Now, I'll start at 16, get you into the context a little better. This is subtitled, The Great Commission which really tells you the whole reason for our being on tour in the first place as a Christian organization. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, 11 compared to 50 touring, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Humans are like that, aren't we? Sometimes. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, and I love words like therefore because it's a launching pad for the important stuff to come. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Away we go. Yeah, well, we made it to the first one. We're in Dallas at Holy Cross. So you can see everybody's unloading. Getting ready for a great concert. So you glad we're here? Beautiful arched ceiling. Isn't it? Isn't it cool? With the big old speaker up there. Everybody run around get ready. Let's go get dressed. Here we are in Dallas. This is Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School. Right now we are in a classroom where us men will be dressing tonight. Uh, this is my church. Uh, this is where I grew up. I was baptized and confirmed here. Uh, I even went to school here. Well, we just finished our first concert. And now everybody's getting ready to go home to their home families. So we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. And we're off to Oklahoma City. It's morning here, day two. We're headed off to Oklahoma City. We just had a wonderful evening with the Kingsleys. Thank you. And once again, we're at Holy Cross, so uh, 
Yes, we're awake and we're gonna pack up the bus. Hey, Julie and Christiana have hats again. T tell us about the hats, Julie. This is our tradition last year. First night of choir tour, we went to Kmart. Kmart and bought us nice, gorgeous straw hats. That's right. And this year, we have these. We went to Walmart. Walmart and bought gorgeous Sorry, hats. Sorry, Catherine Campbell. Casey's. Walmart, not Target. Yeah. That's sad is I don't have Tia to pose with our gray sweat jackets and the hats. Well, we made it. We're in Oklahoma City. Uh, we're going to the Kirkpatrick Center over there. We'll show you some stuff that's inside. Uh, we're on schedule, and Octoberg's gonna go check out the prices here. Here we go. Houston, we're down. Coming down up the ladder. That's one. Small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Well, I've never been to the Grand Canyon, but Professor Croft, check this out. This is the Grand Canyon. 360 degrees, three photos high, ton of photos across. Pretty darn cool, I think. Well, here's some more inside the Goldman Room and down getting ready to do that. As you can see, is Harvey and Christine. Isn't that nice? And that's uh, pretty neat. I did it at Space Camp. Uh, planetarium, there's some of our students in there. And on uh, me, I'm getting ready to do that F-16 flight simulator with Dan and Joseph Stiles. So let's go do that. It's 1 o'clock. And any last words? Uh, <laughs> Concordia. So Harvey, what did you think about your experience? Back for another? Yeah, back for another. What about you? <coughs> Kevin, you ready to try this thing? Nah, but I'm just not. What about Manny? You gonna do it? We're gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it too. It's gonna be really cool. Here we go. Here's Christina. On the, whoa. What about Got a full circle. <laughs> and now the release. And she's off. She's off. Oh, get your hand. Watch it. Bye bye. The miracles of modern science. Huh? Do you want? They stay on us. Uh -uh. If they can stay on our roller coasters, they can stay on here. Well, Hello, Manny. Here I am. Uh oh. Documenting it. Okay. I'm gonna go. Hello, going on slides now. Yeah. His funeral shot. <laughs> I will survive. Like Gloria Gator. Boy, it's been a long time since I've done this. Done this? You didn't forget. No, that's right on my waist, too, so. Ooh, ouch, that hurts. Oh, please. No, I'm just kidding. Good. Well, good. I told you, you'll never ever be able to stop me now. Whee! Catherine! Don't fight the controls. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll stay holding on there. I'm feeling sick. Look at it. Ah. You say anything but ah? Ah. Go, Christy. Go, Christy. Go. Let's go check out Professor Ackerberg real quick. So what are you guys playing with over here? Did you get me on that thingy over there? No, I didn't. Let's see you do it. So what is this? It's an angular momentum platform. Throw up, turn off the camera. Okay. Whoa. Too much spinning. <laughs> And there he goes. How fast can he go? No one knows. <laughs> now lean left and right some. There you go. Come on, Catherine, pull out of the flat spin. Come on. If you can't pass this, you won't graduate. And now we got Manny doing it. Manny, any last words? Any last words, Manny? Hey, Manny! Any last words? He's speechless. Look at that. Manny! Well, let's go to the planetarium then. Okay, we got the wacky jawbreaker machine.
Well, we're in Midwest City now. Another church, another concert. Well, here we are. We just moved all our stuff into a room. And uh, this is some more behind the scenes choir tour stuff. Hey, what's up? We got to another church and I'm like trying to put my music in order because like, I did it last night, but this is like a different thing tonight because last night was like a lantern service thing, you know? So, you know, it's like one of those things. But you know what? I've been to this church before. Uh, I've been to the one last night too. I'm, I'm, I'm trying for like 9 out of 10. Let's see if I can you know, see what happens. Well, we'll keep checking on you. So Christy, how many how many have you folded? Is that enough to switch between songs? You have no idea. Yeah, they don't come pre-folded, so we have to fold them before the concert. No, how about you, were Kathy? How many did you fold? I wasn't counting. We didn't have to fold them. Oh, we only had to yeah, insert. Okay, we just inserted. Another church, and the handbook choir is practicing, and everybody's getting ready for practice. So let's go practice. Outside lies Oklahoma. Concert number two down. Now we're headed home with the host families. Jeff over there is selling the college. And we're headed home with the, the Elliots tonight. It's house now, and we have Steve and Brian with us. <laughs> of course, Harvey. And then there's Mrs. Elliot and Karina, fast asleep. We tired her out already. It's pretty cool. It's going to be a long night. with the Elliots, as you know, and we're trying to pack up the bus. Oh, we're in Kansas, you hoser. You just made that truck way more because you were standing on the scale. Yeah, you did. We've stopped at the Kansas Information Bureau to get some information. So let's see what everybody got. What do you think, Danny? It's Kansas. <laughs> Uh -huh. What do you think about Kansas? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> Kansas. <laughs> Look, it's really flat. Did you see that? You know the highest spot in Kansas is like 80 feet tall. Is that what they say? Something like that. I don't know. Wow. So it's, it's called like some flower or hellish land. This is LASS heaven. Ouch. Look at this. Look at this. Where's she going to put it all, man? Oh, shit. It's all about coffee, baby. It's all about coffee, man. It's right here. Yeah. And the bumper sticker. And the bumper sticker is secondary in my mind. Well, we're here for a lunch concert at Bethany Luther. We're going to get some free lunch and sing a couple songs. It's really windy out. Mo, mo. And Kevin's. How old are you, Kevin? 21. 21? German chocolate cake. German chocolate German cake? Woman. Is it any good? Yes, it's very good. It's made by a wonderful German woman back there. Somewhere. Somewhere. Are there Germans in Kansas? I don't know. All I know is Kansas. Kansas is very flat. Well, we made a stop in Dodge City. And it's pretty. Friggin' morning. So we're gonna go to the McDonald's and get something to eat and maybe check out the museum. No, 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 no,
No, no, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Another one fights it. <laughs> <laughs> really quite simple. We were driving along the highway and we noticed a John Deere dealership. And so we stopped and about uh, five or six of us bought John Deere hats. I'm going to give Rich a John Deere hat. That's a good idea. Another John Deere hat. Yeah, we went and played on farm equipment. Yeah, we went and saw the farm equipment here in Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get the heck out of John. Uh, out of. Take. Take huh? two. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Yeah. Uh, I think my topic is keeping us on the Is this correct? <laughs> It's our pre-concert devotion with Joseph yeah. Stiles. Okay. My topic is keep watch at the door of my lips. And, and even though we're in Kansas, of course. My state. But anyway. Here we are, leaving Kansas, packing up the bus. Got a new bus driver. Uh, how, how was your rest last night, Manny? Well, good rest. Who'd you stay with? I'll reduce People. it. Well, was it good? I need a more adults. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how about $50? Here's our host. I have a magic tester. Oh, I love you. Not in Kansas anymore! Heidi's driving the bus here. <laughs> All right. You realize now, aren't you? We're going to have to let everybody else do it. <laughs> Go, Heidi. How, how does it feel, Heidi? Oh, it's all the way to the good. Way to the I'm going to have to drive. There's some We're almost there. I'm watching. You, Gypsy Girl, get down at once. Yes, Your Honor. It's 3 o'clock in the morning here in Colorado, and there's the comet out there. I don't know which one it is, do you? It's day, I don't know, 300. It was great. And uh, here we are at Trinity. This is Trinity, correct? Uh, I think it's Zion. Zion. Okay. The Zion, Zion Lions. Zion in Brighton. Colorado. Colorado. It's pretty nice outside right now. It's, it's nice about 28. Chilly. <laughs> nice and chilly. Uh, we all woke up, the house we were in this morning, this, to this day, we all woke up with headaches like we, like we were drinking real hard, but we weren't, trust me. Um, we're going to Steamboat Springs next. Oh, uh, yeah, it is a little chilly. It feels like it's about 60. It's we'll a little chilly. It's 28, Julie. It's 28 outside Yeah. Right but because it's very it outside right now, your exit's back. We're gonna sing at the groundbreaking for the new Zion School here. And it's about to start, and it's a bit cold out. But the brass is gonna play. Don't do it. 
Oh, oh we're going around. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Here we go. I, I don't know. Look so how's your birthday? It's awesome! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, look at that, no hands. Elliot, look, no hands. <laughs> look, no brains. Don't move! <laughs> She's 22 today. Ta-da! Come on, John! We're appreciative. Yeah. And in fact, at least two people invited us back for the dedication service for the new building when it's done in September. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be reality, but uh, it was fun hearing it anyway. Jokes? Yeah, jokes. Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Me? Jokes. yeah. Jokes? Let's get one. No. No, I, let me think. Okay. Because notice we're the tally. We're getting up there. Okay. He's sleeping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cute? 16, 17, 18, 19. You're 20. It's driving the bus. Oh. Like Sandra Bullock up there. <laughs> hey, how, how's she drive, Brandon? Like, uh, how do I drive it? No, how does she bus drive? Uh, wonderful. <laughs> it's like a glove. Okay, we're gonna sing our song. Oh, Sarah. Oh, me. Sing it, Grace. How sweet. The sound it takes. Oh, wretch. It's like me. I was, was lost, but now I found was heard. But now I see, break it down. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. It saved a wretch like me. Me, 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 me. Was lost, but now I'm about. Was blind, but now I see. <laughs> Tell the story that just happened. Okay. Well, Catherine Campbell had come by and put her food down right where uh, Gretchen's food is, and uh, I took her lunch, and, and I took her, I, I took, took her drink, drink. <laughs> and uh, she came by and was like, "Where'd it go? Did I leave it here?" We're like. We don't know. And she walked off and said, all right, fine. <laughs> we we were, were so worried. Over your, <laughs> over your head, I mean. <laughs> Gosh, I just feel so bad. So I took it to her and I told her that Harvey took it. <laughs> this happened to me. To, to, to keep people from stealing more of her food, we're not going to show you Catherine's face. We're going to show you her pet frog. Yes. Tell, you your, tell, us her, tell us your sad story. All I did was go in and, and try to help a friend in need, and my food was stolen from me from none other than Harvey. Harvey stole my food. But Shane and Elliot, they rescued it. And now I'm a happy camper. <laughs> So I see you got a, a, a mug there. How much did your mug cost? Three dollars. <laughs> okay. As you can see, we're waiting in line at the A uh, and W here in Idaho Springs because well because this is the only restaurant. We're supposed to be back on the bus at 12, but you can tell by the time. And then as you see, Jeff got another hat. Idaho Springs where we are. Idaho Springs. This is Idaho Springs and it's named that because we are in Idaho and uh, they have springs here. In fact, the springs come in various sizes and you compress them and they come back 
you know, a sprint <laughs> like that. October you know? jokes yeah. caught on camera. Yeah. Rack two up. Here's the scenery by the NW. And of course, our beautiful transportation. And in the co pilot seat. Of course, if you were asking Pat, it was We got Carl in the co pilot seat. How's the view from up here? There's Steamboat Springs, our next stop. You can see it out there on the hill. All right, Levi overalls. <laughs> Any other wise words, Catherine? No. Oh, Kathy, you fall down. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to slip like that. There you go. Okay. What are you doing? Me? <laughs> doing that? <laughs> we're in Steamboat Springs. We're all a bit windy because we're playing in the snow. vier has been snow throwing snowballs at me for a while, so I'm going to take her down. Don't let snow bunnies, people. Try your gloves for a little bit. What? Huh? Okay. It's in there somewhere. Hey, Carl! What? Back. So you know, Elliot, this is what happens when people from Texas see a lot of snow all at once. They get a little snow crazy. Joseph? Uh, trying to walk on this thing is hard. Hey, there's little McChristy from El Seward. How's it going? Hey, I'm That's good. I think I owe you another drop from the snow just for fun. And then, here is our fearless leader, R.A. Dana Mark. What's it all about, Dana? <laughs> What's it all? <laughs> What's it all about, Dana? What's it all about? <laughs> hey, who are going? Hi, y'all. What is the thing? What is that? Oh, 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 yeah. Hey, how you doing, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Luke, how's it going? Pretty good. Getting ready, sure huh? Get ready for the concert? Huh? Getting ready for the concert? Yeah. Hey, what do you guys think about the altitude? <laughs> So are they still damp? No, they're not damp no more. Man, I was like this in the snow. I had Barry up to here in my face. Hi, Katie. Hi. 
That's what I'm for. <laughs> You're a personal toy. See, check this out. Like, like in high school, see, this is the way it is. In high school, I weighed, I graduated, weighed 180 pounds. Okay, 180. Perfect playing weight, you know, all district, this and that. I get I get the, the freshman, you know, college, and they say the freshman, what, 30? <laughs> That's a big lie, okay? I gained, okay, 180 in high school, I'm a senior now, I weigh 260 pounds, okay? Jeez. But it's all muscle, it's all muscle. Well, good morning, it's choir tour again, day six. Uh, we're in Colorado, and I just wanted you to see my tour house. It's where I slept, and this is the view out the window. Isn't that beautiful? I woke up and got to see the sunrise. It was pretty cool. And off in the distance out there, more mountains. I think I'm going to stay here and not go home. So we're going to do some fun activities today. Some of us are going skiing. So I'm also going to toboggan, and uh, me, I'm going to hit the hot springs that Steamboat Springs is famous for. So we'll have a cool day, and then we're off to Colorado Springs. So Julie, how did skiing go? Uh, Down. I broke my nose. Down here all the way. What about you, Shane? How'd the skiing go? It was awesome. My I I spent most of it on my butt, and now it's numb. <laughs> my butt's freezing. Kevin. Yours is wet. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, how'd, how'd skiing go, Kevin? Oh. It went great. I fell down 27 times. <laughs> but at least you have dry pants. Let's go slip into some dry clothes. Uh, How'd it go, Debbie? It was pretty good. I, you know. How long were you on the ground? I was very low all the time. But it's cool if you get in these little track things that are already made, you know, that are hard and everything. Stick your stickies in there, you can just push along. And Stick your stickies? Stick your skis, what I said. <laughs> Stick your skis, man, you can just glide. Pretty cool. The part was going on that one hill, you know, and you're like going like, I think like 30 or 40 miles an hour, it felt like, and then just totally wiping out and falling <laughs> flat on your butt. Here's the place where they graciously let us rent our ski equipment for free. That's where we skied out there. It was pretty cool. But now it's time to get back on the bus, go to lunch, and hit Colorado Springs. <laughs> That's the hill we skied on right there, and we skied over there. We didn't ski on that big hill with the jump. That's just a joke. Yeah, this, this is a fun hat. It's, it's real rabbit fur. It's me! Yeah. Yeah. Animal killer! No, it's it's really sad. Animal killer! Oh Animal God. killer! You know, I do a lot of shopping for those things you need, like late at steamy nights. And I tell you, man, it's the last time I'm buying something from one of those machines. Put my quarters in. Something I'm happy. I look to see what color it is. Oh, Action yeah. tattoos. Oh, Action yeah. tattoos. No contraceptive here. That's the last time I'm buying one of those stupid things and yeah. the stupid machines. The world will be a perfect world if we all unite and eat slim jims. Oh. Go out there and get now, a video. Now for my next drink, I will drink Go. Andy Freeze. Go out and get a video. <laughs> Notice that the two colors are very similar. So where are we? We're right by that lenticular cloud there that had the gorgeous rainbow like I've never seen before. We're between here and there. Yeah, we're north of Castle Rock, south of Denver, about an hour and a half from Colorado Springs, which means we're going to be just a hair late. Nothing big, we've been late before. Okay. That job or a <laughs> There's a slight line for the bathroom here. Do you guys have to go? Yes! <laughs> Who's in there? Sandra. Sandra? See, look at the line for the guys' bathroom. Hi, Mark. <laughs> look at the line for the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Steven just pointed out that the temperature of the bus is 69 degrees. Does anybody know what the We got dinner. Is? Look at that. We got Talk bread. Mashed potatoes. Something with bread on top of it. We got ham. Oh, I think this one is Fried yeah, chicken. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Something for cheese. This mm, is chili. Chili. All right, what is this? Corn, oh Rice. my. I think by far this is the best dinner. And then look, we've been to Emmanuel. We've been to Trinity. We've been to Zion, and we've been to Shepherd of the Hills. And we're in Redeemer. Tomorrow, we'll be in another Redeemer. Pretty cool, huh?
I'm loading the bus, getting ready for a concert. We're in Colorado Springs at Redeemer, and there's the van. And as we put all the handbell stuff and the instruments, and David Weaver's been driving today. After being on the bus for a while, we all find our own ways to relax. What? Okay. Oh, man, okay, Dana. Here you go, Dana. So, who are these people? Okay, this is my Uncle Sam. And my Aunt Wanda. It's my Hi. Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Local. Yeah, look at this. This is like the best view. Can you get a close up on that? I'm trying, but you can't the way. There we go. Look at that. Is that not the most. Oh, it's beautiful. Really? Oh, look at that. Let's take a tour of the play here. They have like a nice fried chicken over here, right? Oh, and then you get your. Oh, it's spicy with the butter. <laughs> And little mashed potatoes oh, and like real corned beef, man. Look at that. Because it's St. Patrick's Day coming up. Oh, okay. And, and then the King Ranch chicken. Look at that. King Ranch right there. And then like a nice uh, little sloppy Jones. All right. Don't forget the stuff under the corned beef. So, so what do you think? Is, is this a good meal, Dave? Yeah. Oh, this is very good. No, no lasagna, eating. right, Heather? No lasagna. <laughs> How do you like it, Shane? <laughs> I like the I like the mashed potatoes. They're good. What about you, Manny? You like potlucks? <laughs> All right. Okay.
There's Pikes Peak. And what does that mean? That means we're packing up the bus and we're about to head to Albuquerque. Or driving through Garden of the Gods today, maybe we'll actually get to get out and look around. All right. These are the uh, cliff dwellings of ancient peoples here. Uh, if, if you look very closely, you can see where, where they used to live. Uh, very, very fascinating, actually. And you can see their ancient hieroglyphics there, too. Very, very large writing on the on the cliff. Isn't isn't that amazing? <laughs> Don't forget to join us next week when Professor David O'Leary takes us on the tour of the Great Tar Beds. Oh my gosh, it's a joke. And where's Octoberg? Can you spot the Octoberg in this picture? There he is. That's right. You guys guessed it. Oh, never mind my wrist. Oh, I can't do it. I've got a bad wrist. Broke my arm two years ago. I can't, I can't wait. Well, I could get about halfway up there if I get retired. Cool stuff, man. I have to, you know, camp for the night. I have to go to where the grass is. Up yeah. there. That's where I'd probably have to get here. <laughs> we got stuff, but... But anyways, you know... I don't... What do they consider the rock What are you base? doing, Dave? Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, don't you think God would probably grow something better than this? <laughs> it's like some rocks. I mean, they're big red rocks. I mean, God probably said, hey, Jesus, I think I'm going to grow some big red rocks. And Jesus said, oh, man, don't you think you should grow some trees, stuff like that? <laughs> God said, oh, okay, we'll compromise. I'll put trees on the rocks. And Jesus said, okay, that's cool. And the Holy Spirit said, hey, I got a nice one. We'll put some holes in the rocks. <laughs> because, you know, he's the Holy Spirit. Okay? <laughs> so the Holy Spirit put some holes in the rocks, and this is what they got, the Garden of God. There you go. They, they closed the first one down. <laughs> it's the explanation. Wow. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Hey. That all makes so much more sense now. God's going to open up a chain of cards. Hey, Dave, you know you're not supposed to climb these rocks, man. No, it's okay. Just, I'm, I'm getting there, man. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm getting... Oh, forget it. I'm just going to walk. <laughs> okay, dear. So, so what kind of tree are we going to get this year? Well, I think this one would, would bring out the color in the living room the most. Oh, but it's, but it's too big, dear. Look at that. It's huge. Well, behind, behind, behind. Okay, okay. Let's look over here. What about this one? Well, well, that's that's actually very wide, I think. I think it, it would, it would, there wouldn't be room for the sofa anymore. How about over here? Okay. This one, that's like perfect. Oh, that's a nice tree there. Yeah, I, I hope it's not too expensive. Well, let's find out the price. Okay. Gift option. <laughs> Who wants to go to the gift shop? That's the way to the gift shop. We <laughs> that way. Girls. <laughs> tied. Me, you're the deciding vote. Wow, what a great view. That's so cool. Hey, Dave, I, I don't see the tour bus around. Uh-oh. Are, are we lost? I think so. Wait, I, I, I think I, I hear voices. Oh, my gosh, it's part of our group. Oh, thank God, we found the trail. Oh, oh, thank God we found you. We were lost for like four hours. We didn't notice, sorry. <laughs> Ah, it's a beautiful sunny day, isn't it? Oh, it's like it's like so warm in the sun, you know. But then you like go into the shade. It's like, oh man, oh, it's cold there. Like, oh, and then you go back into the sun. Like, ah, it's warm, man. It's like, like ah. <laughs> Look, Easter's right around the corner, and the Cadbury buddies getting ready. Charles Elliot Perkins. Good name. Where's the handle? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Hey, to to Tonka. Buffalo. Tonka. Anyway, the earth. 
This is your favorite place on the earth? Well, one of my favorite places on the face of the earth, along with about 3,000 other places. Uh, many of which, of course, are in Texas, some of which aren't. Um, I think it was a well-spent time. I think so, too. Thanks. A little extra. Well, we've left Colorado, and we're in New Mexico now, and we're at the weigh station, trying to find out how much we weigh, and then we'll eat lunch. Hey, Dana. Yeah. What are we trying to figure out? We're trying to figure out what the heck Las Vegas means. Prof Bob says he researched it in order to come up with another one of those jokes, yet he does not remember either. We're, we're, we're at a, a crossroads here. We can either progress on and try to figure this out, or we can turn back. I think we turn back. Well, here we are in Albuquerque, New Mexico at another Redeemer. Ready to get ready for another concert? Sandia Peak in the distance. If you look carefully, you can see the tramway going up. The, the tramway? Where? Exciting ride. Are oh, we going to do that? It's right about in there somewhere. So are we going to do that tomorrow? No, we won't. We don't have time so, to do that. We're so where are we off to tomorrow? Sands. White Sands. <laughs> and then? And then to El Paso. OK. Should be a fun day. Should be a good concert. Oh, I hope so. We so where did you guys go today? We drove to here, just like y'all did. Yeah, you went to the Air Force Academy to see the cathedral. We already heard. No, we no, didn't. didn't. <laughs> Liars. At least I don't remember that. No, we do. Do you remember that? I don't no, we didn't. That. So how long have you been chilling out here waiting for the bus to show up? About 40 minutes. Yeah, we ran a little behind today at lunch. That's OK, because we, we didn't go we to took, the cathedral. We took that 20 minutes looking for, for a place, but we couldn't find, find it, it because New Mexico is a land of enchantment, and buildings have a way of just disappearing because they're enchanted. Yeah. Just for your record, you may notice the bus is a little gray. <laughs> well, he's going to wash it tonight, and it will look a lot cleaner because we've just traveled through Colorado where it's dirty. I think they're going to wash the van tomorrow, too. No. Here's Jeff, and this is what he's doing on tour. Well, I've come along on an administrative role and uh, try to combine that with a little bit of vacation, talk a little bit during the service, a little bit after the service, maybe speak with a youth group or two before the service, and try to recruit some students to Concordia Austin that would not have otherwise had an opportunity to learn about Concordia Austin. Uh, try to talk to some parents and grandparents and just try to get the name out there and create as good an impression as possible of our college. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's all about beer taps. Full taps. We're in a much taller, darker, carpeted church. Our lesson for the day, Las Vegas, the Fertile Plains. Not Lost Wages. Not lost wages, okay. but good try. At risers. 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 Wow. Hey, we're not going to be able to do risers. Hey, we're not going to be able to do risers. Huh? We've never done it before. Uh. Change? <laughs> <laughs> good Lutheran here. How many Lutherans does it take to change a light bulb? How many? Did somebody say change? Dummy la pantalones. <laughs> <laughs> Mis pantalones es un dormito. <laughs> Me es muy triste porque mi elmo <laughs> Vámonos para mi casa Vámonos
Jordan, what did you think about the concert? I thought it was a cool concert. Uh, <clears throat> Who are you going home with tonight? Jay Mulaney. So we're getting pretty used to this looking for the sign and then matching him up? Yeah. So you packed light, I see. Mm -hmm. Three bags? I just left my polo and blanket and heavy coat is all. Okay, well that's good. Yeah. Day seven here, and Rich washed the bus, so it looks very nice. Hey, it does come in white. <laughs> Wash the bus. Yeah. All right. Now we're off to uh, El Paso today via White Sands. We're going to stop there and, and film some stuff, but it should be a good trip. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the Colorado flag of the Colorado State of America. To the masking for which it holds one tape under the ceiling with sticky and tacky throw up. Amen. Congratulations to the Kansas flag of the Kansas State of America and to the sketch for which it stands one stockyard full of cattle with hamburger and beef for all. Oh, yeah, it's dog food. Amen. So Dana thinks he can eat an apple in one bite. <laughs> Camp over here. <laughs> yeah. Dana really is in touch with his feminine side here. <laughs> On a mission, boom, boom, like uh, boom, 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 on, a, on, a, on a mission. Where are we going? Boom, 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 no, no, I mean we're we're on a mission. Boom, 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 oh, like on a mission of God, not from God. Yeah. Check out my drink. Oh, yeah. You're moving it. I can't, the I can't focus. Right there. It's orbits. It's, that one. it's like, like little, right? little things inside of it. Did you Dave, Dave's gonna try the Orbitron. Check it out, man. The orbits. Dude, like harness the uh, stuff in your teeth. Mm. Oh. What do you think, Dave? Wow. You like it? The drink you can chew. <laughs> We made a quick stop at the lava fields, and out there is the Trinity site where they detonated the first atomic bomb. And the mountains. Ruidoso ski area over there. Ruidoso ski areas out there. And by the way, this is the uh, lava beds where the lava sleeps at night. Lava sleeps at night. Dave has a new toy, huh? <laughs> Dairy Queen Blizzard, baby, Butterfinger. No, no see, see, this no, is a Butterfinger Blizzard. Chocolate. The Dairy Queen 32 ounce Butterfinger Blizzard. <laughs> okay. What do I say? <laughs> Just say something sweet. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Julie, I relish your sweetness. Because, yeah, like, got to get a little long job. Once again, it's time for Where's Octoberg? Can you spot the Octoberg? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you have to chef to ask me what it is. So well, what, what is this here? This is White Sands of Mexico, and after, uh, oh. after walking about and checking out the scenes, there's a lot to see. A lot of sand. This is White Sands, and, and my, uh, yeah. My thoughts on this is, is pretty simple. There's a lot of sand. And no water. And it's very white. 
hints the name White Sands. It's, it's very difficult to figure that out. There you go. There's a lot of sand. If you look down, there was Damn a Sasquatch. It. Oh my God, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you think, Dave? Um, How did all these ripples get here? Um, it's really sunny. <laughs> ripples. Yeah. Hey, Dave, have you seen the tour bus? Oh, oh I'm out of water. Oh. <laughs> Where's the bus? This is nothing but sand. Lip balm? Oh, thank you. We're here with Professor Christiane Zuck, a foot specialist. What kind of tracks can we see out here on the dunes this afternoon? Well, this one right here, by the shape and size of it, I would say is a Neolithic male of the species, <laughs> of the human species. Okay. And apparently he was running from a predator. By the way, the foot is just thrown in. You can't even distinguish the toes. Um, this puppet right here would have to be a female. By the, a female, by the, of what age would you guess? I would guess late teens, early 20s. The narrowness of the, of the middle part of the foot is what makes it clear that okay. this is a female. How, how about this little Neil Armstrong looking one right here? That one right there? No, this one right, right, right there. Oh, that one right there. That's definitely a city slicker. You know, most people would come out here in bare feet, but these city people who come out here with shoes... Oh, that's, that's a cameraman's footprint. I, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. See, yeah, city person. And, and don't forget to join us next week when Professor Christian Zock takes us to the wild redwood forests of New Mexico. It's all about cat litter. <laughs> Look, wild coyote tracks. And over there, wild wolf tracks. <laughs> here we go. Our competitors this evening are ready. On your mark. You Get set. Go. Surge. <laughs> Surge. <laughs> oh, we got. Oh, it looks like Elliot Hansen, first place. Second, Carol. Third, Luke. Yeah. Boom, Roxanne, Dave. I think it's Dave. Two are floundering around. Let's, talk, let's take a talk with our winner. So, Elliot, how'd you do it? Man, uh, four years of ROTC, man. But, man, Carol, man, she was right behind me. Carol was. Carol, she any rocked. words for your oh, public? Carol! Carol's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goofy grin. Hey, how are those two doing down there? <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin's up. And I beat Dave Weaver, that's all I care. So you beat a guy? <laughs> 45. Whoa. Okay, let's get down. That was very interesting. Any last words, Elliot Hansen? Oh. <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> As you can see, we're now in Texas. on the hill, the river, and Mexico on the other side. So the pretty mountains aren't in Texas, they're in Mexico. Yeah. Notice the bus after it's been inhabited for, for about a day. Pretty scary, huh? And of course, we're in El Paso now at our savior. And look, we're on the billboard. Oh. Well, Elliot, right you, can tell by the bark. you can tell by the bark, you see. This isn't dogwood. <laughs> okay. Please try so, how's the concert working tonight? The concert is uh, not working yet, but it will work very well, I think. And we're going to have an abbreviated schedule, because this is a regular length service, so we must keep it to an hour. <laughs> Set a watch before my mouth will hold. <laughs> Where are we going, Dave? Why, thank you, sir. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, Shane! <laughs> This is where we're changing today. Isn't it beautiful? There's a lot of sofas and stuff. It's like a real youth room, you know? We don't have any... Hey, look what it says on the chalkboard. You didn't get any of me on tape, No, you're behind the table. Okay. At least I think he was. I, hope. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want me... <laughs> so, what'd you think about the concert? You know, my favorite part, personally, right, was when Rose went... I guess I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> it had a little adventure tonight, didn't it? No! Yeah, that was really neat. We played trust balls with Rose, and she got a free Pepsi. Coke is 
it? Well, hey, you know, the second concert was the night when I made it to the pew and, and Joseph Styles caught me, so. You're a freak. Thank you. Enjoy it. Excuse me. So, Mark, how do you think you did? We've got a new match feeler in town. <laughs> Smile and say hi. Good morning, everybody. It's day nine. We're on our way to where, Carl? San Angelo, man. San Angelo. We got a nice five hour bus ride ahead of us. Six. Actually, five from what our host said. So, are you looking forward to the bus ride? <laughs> it's all about blue skies, green fields. And beach babes today. Well, just give me what you got. Here's their dance. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Did, did everybody sleep well? Yes. Good, because this is a long devotion. No, just kidding. <laughs> I picked a topic that wasn't on the list, Ubi Caritas, which means where there's faith and love, there is God. And I'm sure there's a lot of faith and love here on the bus, isn't that right? <laughs> this is an interactive devotion here to keep everybody awake. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Very good. Now, this trip has kind of been interesting for me because, as you know, I've been loading the bus every day. And to me, loading the bus is just a great big metaphor for tour because in the beginning, Nothing fit together. I mean, we even had to put bags in the back of the bus. But now as we get closer to the end, everything's fitting together really quickly and very closely, and there's still room for more. <laughs> Isn't that what? Can we leave somebody? <laughs> and uh, since I didn't have a, a Bible with me, uh, I picked my, my verse, which is uh, John 8, 32. Does anybody know what that is? It's, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's just a really nifty Bible passage, so I guess if everybody would join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks, guys. And then, and then one other thing today, you can turn the camera. I, I wrote a poem for Shane and uh, Kevin. And I don't know if, if, how many of y'all know what happened to Shane and Kevin the night before last, but that's what the poem's about. And, I, and I'll, I'll, I'll read it to y'all here a little bit later. As long as it's clean, then. Okay, well, it's sort of clean. It's true to life. It's true to life. I mean, it's exactly how things happen, so it can be false, right? Go, Dana. Okay. Shane and uh, Kevin told me a story last night about some things that happened to them the night before. <laughs> so, here we go. March 11th, 1997, singing praises to God and to heaven. Staying overnight in strange homes, missing our girls and calling them on a phone. Tonight, tonight, we will never forget, because in all the confusion, we're very upset. Concert is over and it's time to go. Where's our host family? We don't know. Bags all packed and are on the tables. In walks John from his Mercury Sable. We got all our stuff and went along, not knowing how long we'd be gone. The house was beautiful from the street and the inside was awfully neat. Walking in, is it possible that we can assume John is gay when we see Lan? His partner is Lan, not roommate or friend. We have our morals and values that just don't bend. Seeing Lan on the piano bench caused us to fright. We sure, we sure as heck would not sleep well tonight. <laughs> Afraid of our lives? No, our virginity. Oh, we so careful not to show femininity. <laughs> Sleeping lightly as well as we should, we got the heck out of there as soon as we could. Fire tour has been a true blessing in many dimensions, a multidimensional blessing. How's that? Is that one word? One Sounds word. Good enough to me. Blessing. Yeah. Next. Patience is a key word for me for this tour. In one word. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, no, it's 
Learning experience. That's a big one. Hey, this choir tour has been bitching. <laughs> Interesting. Why was it interesting? It was interesting. Hey, look, it's Dana again. Hey, man, what's up? What's your word? Denver. So you, Denver, okay. Denver, man. Dave? Uh, on the road again. <laughs> Luke? Eclectic. Eclectic? Yeah. Okay. Why do you say that? Why do I say that? Well, because eclectic is like combining a whole bunch of different things. And so on the tour, when we, as a broad definition, when we go to all the different churches and all the different cultures of uh, certain parts of America, it's really an eclectic experience. Our tour was frustrating. Why do you say that? Christy? Food? Too much of it. Too much food? My tour was all about planes, mountains, cars, bands, buses, singing. It was all about everything. Life threatening. Life threatening. How about you? What? Sleep. Sleep? Look, here's Dana again. <laughs> My word is is. Okay. I guess we were be musical. Awesome. Next time. No, he can't. I have a word. I've been thinking of this for a while. And I'm just wondering if anybody else thinks I said it, but if you can't think of anything else to say, super talent friendly, get talent delicious. Uh oh, it's Dana again. My word is full. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you want a word? I have a word. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Okay. <laughs> that's the second longest word. Orgasmic. <laughs> Look, it's Dana again. Hey, what's up? I got a word. Oh. What about you, Christiane? <laughs> well, my word, I would have to say snow. Snow? You know, I only have two things to say. Kansas sucks. <laughs> two words. It was a real quickie. <laughs> I'd say spunkerific. <laughs> I'd say... <laughs> Shit. 
Awesome, great, wonderful, excellent. Can we go home now? And, and guess what? We just got one more back home, but we're going home tomorrow. Yeah. Or crying or pain, or the old order of things has passed away. Last day. Um, if I could get y'all to think back over tour and think of the friend, the friend that you maybe got re in touch with. Like I know I got, I had a lot of time to <coughs> talk to people that I normally wouldn't have to talk to. Um, maybe think about some of the new friends you met, like the hosts that you might have got to talk to. And just think about the lives in general that we all touched. Like Christina was saying the night that uh, she sat out and was saying all the day long, and it kind of touched her and brought us to the eye. You know? um, just think about the, the way that we touched other people through Christ. Um, we're all about to go back to school and get real busy. Cause wow, Catherine, is this like playing Monopoly with real money? <laughs> We're taking up a collection for the bus driver. We probably got four hundred dollars right there in Catherine's hands. We're just banking into yeah. that. Hey, look! I found myself. <laughs> so, Debbie, tell us about Lotto. Flano. What about it? It's very small. It's almost lost. So you're about to leave us? Yeah. So how far is it to Austin? About an hour and a half. Okay, cool. If, if it goes like, you know, 60, 65, if it goes about 70, um, it'll be about an hour and so. All right, what'd you think of the concert last night, Jamie? Y'all get out of the outfit and tail, please. Bow, 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 bow. bow, bow. bow, bow. <laughs> it's all about, it's all about. Well, we're back in Austin. And I'll tell you, we're all happy. The party tour has been fun. Get on the road for 10 days and stop your home. Here we are, pulling in. They're stepping up there, which means we're home. Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico. Five states, 3,271 miles in 10 days. So David, what'd you think? <laughs> we're, we're back. Okay. <laughs> we made it! We're here! Yes! Hey Dana, let me guess who you're gonna go see. Nobody, she ain't here. She ain't come back yet. What do you got, man? 102 <laughs> Professor Ochterberg jokes on Quiet Tour. <laughs> Professor Ochterberg said we'd be back at 12.33 on the itinerary, and look at that. What a man. It's good to be home, and as you can see, people are slowly walking back to put their stuff up. So, Dan, did you have fun on Quiet Tour? I had fun on Quiet Tour, but I'm fixing to have a hell of a lot more fun. <laughs> And the bus looks almost like it did last time. Thanks, Rich. It looks great. We'll be seeing you next year. I, I appreciate it. Any final words? Adios. <laughs> The 
the bus drives off into the distance, we say goodbye to Rich. We've learned that 48 people can live and survive together on the same bus, and that choir tour is definitely a good thing. And hopefully, we'll all meet again next year for the Texas Tour 1998. the home concert. Well, it's March 21st, I think, day 20 maybe, and uh, we've been off choir tour now for a week, been going to classes, and now it's time for the home concert in the chapel. And we're going to have some people join us that weren't on choir tour. Pretty cool. So Luke, uh, what? what do you miss most about choir tour? What do I miss most? Yeah. I don't know. Um, the snow? What do you miss most about choir tour? Uh, not riding the bus. <laughs> Gretchen, what do you miss most about choir tour? Throwing a snowball in your face. Joseph. Yeah. What do you miss most about choir tour? The freedom from school. What do you miss most about choir tour? Real food. <laughs> what do you miss most about choir tour besides Mr. Mullaney? Uh. <laughs> Probably going to different places. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry, it's March 23rd. What do you miss it. most about choir tour? Um, um, how about eating fat-filled, really disgusting fast food every single lunch and every single, actually every single meal, pretty much of every single day. I mean, you know, you have these people, these wonderful women, at these host families that like dump down an entire grocery store of breakfast for you. Here, have some biscuits and have some cereal and have some eggs and have some bacon and sausage and all this garbage. And then you go to like wonderful places such as KFC and all that for lunch. And then you get to the nice little churches and they give you like every single fat filled recipe they could find. I mean like lasagna with 16 different cheeses and like macaroni and cheese and all that garbage. So anyway, that's what I miss. Cause hey Debbie, what do you, what do you miss concert? most about choir tour? Being so darn close to you, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, seriously. Thank you. <laughs> the snow. I miss the snow. That was just a blast. It was really yeah, good. Yeah, skiing was, was interesting. Yeah. Very skiing cold. Skiing was interesting. Yeah, I mean, Cross country skiing. I didn't accept that around for you. Yes, Elliot? What do you miss most about choir tour? What do I miss most about choir tour? Yeah. How much time do you have? <laughs> uh, it's a like five-hour tape. I, I, I can think. tape. Uh, I can take up just about that much. Well, I miss the potlucks. And I miss traveling on the bus, and I miss only having ten minutes to dress. Well, actually, I only got ten minutes to dress today, so that's kind of like normal. Um, scenery of Colorado and New Mexico, and the Great Plains of Kansas, of course. <laughs> Let's see what else. Snowshoeing. Snowshoeing. Yeah. Actually, I miss not uh, not riding on the bus with everybody for uh, endless hours. Because contrary to popular opinion, that's actually quite gratifying. And uh, I really miss, Elliot, now you're not going to believe this, but I really miss not having you put little marks on that piece of paper <laughs> on the window. I was just going to say, I miss your jokes. You do? Well, we'll pray for you, Debbie. <laughs> just kidding. No, thank you. I would take that as a compliment. I must uh, put on my tie. Thank you. <gasps> Look! That's really ugly. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Shall we go white tie tonight? No, can't. How about black tie? Yeah, black tie. I think that'll work. Boy, oh, howdy. Tie. This screen's 1975. <laughs> and I use a fake one. Sorry. What do you miss the most about choir tour? I miss, oh goodness, I was thinking about this the other day. I think I missed Dana's comment. Oh no, Professor Octoberg jokes. The most of choir tour. Riding in the van was the best. Me, what do you miss the most about choir tour? Walk like a man. <laughs> Hello, guys. What do you miss the most about choir tour? The lovely Nothing. bus ride. Nothing. You don't miss anything? I'm most excited to be home. The only thing I miss 
It's saying good morning to everybody every day. It's the most about choir tour. I miss... Uh, for reals? For reals, I miss seeing my friends all day long, 24-7. To go to class, that sucks too. And there is the official choir tour what, banner. Our choir wow. tour banner is a hole. That's our banner? I didn't know Does that. it really? Yeah, there's a hole right here. It's the cover to the program. It's just about choir tour. Going Hello? The incense one. Hello? This one's the lit back burner. They're ignoring you all the time. Are you guys ignoring the camera? Yes. What do you miss the most about choir tour? <laughs> you. Really? Yes. What would you guys do instead of choir tour? I'd rather not say. Uh-oh. Now, what do you miss the most about choir tour? Um, that great food. <laughs> you know, I've got the perfect idea for a book. I smell it. It's going to be a number one bestseller. Everything I ever needed to know, I learned on choir tour. I miss the most about choir tour. The mountains. The mountains. Yeah, the mountains are wonderful. They're great. They're beautiful. In fact, we discussed it in my British lit class. <laughs> the... Yeah. We were discussing um, uh, Wordsworth and how he was sitting there talking about places that you think about. When you think about them, they, you know, they bring back cheerful memories and how you want to go back there. And I said the mountains. Love the mountains. Great place to be. What's the home concert all about? I'm going to tell you what it's all about right now. Somehow or another. From the time I got off the bus last week to the time I got here, my music got totally, completely, with that and out, out of order. So right now, like a chicken with my head cut off. I'm running around trying to figure out where my music went to, and I'm having a horrible time of it. But hey, you know something? It's all good in the end. So it's all about being patient and having a fantastic time and trying to figure out what exactly the heck you're trying to do. Hey. What do you miss the most about choir tour? John and Lane. <laughs>